Should agents use bridging finance? There's a lot of mixed feelings about this. Some agents are for it and use it often. Some are against it. Some principals don't want their agents bridging at all, which I understand. So here's my opinion on it. First of all, an agent has the option to use bridging finance. In an ideal situation, they'd be organized enough and have enough cash flow to where they don't need to make use of bridging finance. However, sometimes it is needed, in which case you can come to us. However, in the times that you do use bridging finance, your endeavor should be to become more organized, get more sales through, so you actually don't need to make use of bridging finance, which is weird coming from me because I run a bridging finance company, but I'm telling you, ideally, you as an agent shouldn't need it. When you do, use us. But in the meantime, this is one of the reasons that we offer free business seminars because we want you to become more organized, get more sales, get more powerful so you have enough going on to where you actually don't need to make use of our service. But when you do, you can come to us. Now your seller, he sometimes does need bridging finance and there's nothing wrong with that. It's not that he's disorganized or anything, he just wants his money ahead of time. So in that case, you can refer your seller to us. We'll give him the bridging finance and then give you a referral commission for bringing him to us. So I hope that answers the question of the relationship between agents and bridging finance and wherever we can assist you, we will. Thank you so much and looking forward to working with you. If you enjoyed that video, go ahead and subscribe below because we're gonna be putting out a lot of interesting content that I think will be of value to you. So give it a thumbs up, a like, share it, and looking forward to giving you more videos.